Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. It is muggy, yes. hot outside. Hopefully we're going to get some relief. I was going to say that's the good news is, Jeff, this means rain is on the way. We've got some of that out there this afternoon. We're going to pick up a little bit more through the Labor Day weekend. But as we've been telling you about and keeping you alert about all week long, it is not going to be a washout. But we are going to have these pockets of showers and thunderstorms like we've had the last couple of afternoons again tomorrow. Likely some of that hangs around on Sunday and it still looks like Labor Day itself on Monday, probably the driest day out of the three day weekend may still have some isolated spots of wet weather, uh, but right now that'll be the day that we see the least amount of rainfall still will be hot, but you do notice the heat continues to gradually edge back 94 tomorrow 92 on Sunday and around 91 degrees coming up on Monday and we do expect to see even cooler conditions coming in middle to latter part of next week. Well, somehow we did it again in Huntsville. Lack of cloud cover and rainfall allowed us to climb to 100 earlier. That puts us at six for the summer. The average is three. Still, I don't think we have a shot getting close to that record of 30 days in a calendar year at or above the 100 degree mark because in fact next week we're still seeing indications that after Labor Day there's going to be enough of a pattern change that we're really going to take the edge off the heat. It'll still be warm. It's September, uh, but we're talking highs probably mostly in the 80s. Might even get a couple days where we stay back into the upper 70s, depending on cloud cover and rain coverage. But we do have that to look forward to if you are just tired of summer heat. We've got the rain bringing some relief out there this afternoon. Way 31 triple Doppler uh, showing kind of like yesterday. Rain is on the edges, so northwestern Alabama we've got wet weather. Northeast Alabama, we've got some scattered wet weather. In between, there's not a whole lot showing up, uh, but we will continue to track some spots of showers and a few rumbles of thunder for the next several hours before this all dies out. And this popped up with peak heating this afternoon. It will disappear as we lose the heating heading into the evening hours. So in most cases by 9, 10 o'clock tonight should return to dry weather. If you are headed to a high school football game, just to be on the safe side, have rain gear in case you need it. I don't think that'll be a widespread issue for us, but there will be a few games that likely will have some shower and thunderstorm activity still around at kickoff. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off your Saturday on a dry note, mix of clouds and some sunshine early in the day. We'll go partly cloudy tomorrow afternoon, and then once again, we heat up, showers and thunderstorms will pop up. Probably won't see them really move a whole lot like they've been the last couple days, so that means they could dump some locally heavy rainfall. But you do see, see here at 4 o'clock on your Saturday, it's not raining everywhere across the Tennessee Valley. That activity goes away as we cool Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon, we'll likely see a few areas of showers and thunder showers pop back up against uh, once again. And heading into your Sunday evening, Sunday night, they will go away with the loss of daytime heating. So that's just kind of the pattern that we're going to be in here for the next several days. For tonight, stays a little muggy. Most of us will not get below the 70 degree mark. So as you step out in the morning, a little bit humid out there early in the day, we will heat up in advance of any rainfall, 86 at 10. 91 around 2 o'clock again low and mid 90s before some of those showers and thunderstorms that pop up tomorrow afternoon do bring some localized relief in the heat. 94 is where we expect to make it in Huntsville. Same in Muscle Shoals, 95 Scottsboro, 91 in Fort Payne and about 92 tomorrow over in Decatur. Here's your way 31 storm tracker 10 day forecast 40% your rain chance tomorrow 30% Sunday. Drops to 20% on Labor Day. Temperatures on a slow but steady drop off into the beginning of next week. And then we'll take the numbers down another notch. It looks like by midweek, rain chances will pick back up again towards the middle of next week. Again, there could be a couple days where we stay near or just below the 80 degree mark for your highs. And it looks like once we get that drop off back into the 80s next week, that's where temperatures are likely to stay for a little bit.